A colloquium paper is, uh, is not a standard radio. It's a short topical radio, about 20 pages, uh, and printed pages, I mean, uh, which is addressed to uh, either emerging new topics in um, condensed matter physics, or uh, uh, it offers a sort of uh, uh, perspective view on uh, some new directions that, according to the author, um, should be um, better focused by research teams uh, worldwide. I like very much this, uh, this kind of radios, either because they are not too much long, so they are very easy to read. They are addressed to uh, um, a wide uh, um, uh, board of people, so they are not too specific, too technical, okay? And uh, never, nevertheless, they offer um, a very updated um, list of references and could be useful for any people, either uh, senior researchers or uh, younger people, to enter in a new field. So in the last couple of years, I was editing uh, as many as 25, 30 colloquia papers. And so most of them are really excellent, outstanding papers. I'd like to, to highlight uh, the paper by Stefano Zapperi, is a senior researcher from the Italian National uh, Council of Research, which is uh, titled um, uh, Statistical Mechanics of Fracture and Plasticity, which is, to my feeling, a central uh, topic in modern uh, material science and materials physics. Uh, uh, which is uh, uh, combining many different approaches, like uh, some very basic physics arguments, like statistical mechanics, very application-oriented material issues, fracture mechanics and plasticity, and also is uh, combining a multi-scale description of, uh, of these physical phenomena, from the atomic scale to the mesoscopic scale, uh, putting also some emphasis on uh, what we could uh, uh, mention uh, to be a, a sort of emerging behavior from, th from the bottom to the uh, macroscopic scale. So it was a very nice uh, uh, colloquial paper, uh, enlightening uh, uh, a couple of possible new directions in, in, in this field that I really enjoyed very much reading.